Elisa Serafini is getting us more details. She joins us from Vatican. Uh, good afternoon, Elisa. I just wanted to ask you, uh, the Prime Minister's meeting with the Pope has just ended is what we are learning. Uh, you did mention yes. to us earlier that the tradition is uh, that the agenda for this meeting isn't really chalked out uh, before the meeting. But we can expect a statement. What are you picking about what was really discussed in this meeting? So we had sources from inside the Vatican that spoke about uh, climate action. So this for sure will be a topic that has been discussed. Uh, we heard also that uh, the topic on the Catholic community in India has been discussed. So we expect more topics also to be released uh, shortly. Just, we, we just saw uh, a few seconds ago the car of the Prime Minister uh, going out from the Vatican. Uh, so we will be expecting this press release and more news on that very shortly. Also, the Prime Minister met uh, the Secretary of the State of the Vatican State, uh, Parolin. He is the Cardinal who is, has been served for the diplomacy service for the Vatican. So maybe there will be also something about international relations and the relations between the Vatican State and India. So we will be having more news on that, but for sure it will be covering politics, international relations, climate change, environmental topics, and social issues. Those are the topics that are also discussed during the G20. Um, so there is an alignment uh, on that between the Vatican State and the Italian government. All right, Elisa, thanks so much for getting us up to speed with all of those developments. And Elisa, tracking that story from Vatican, tracking the all-important G20 meeting also, of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, of which India, of course, is, is a part. It's going to be an important G20 meeting, in-person meeting, and it's the first meeting after the pandemic.